everyone, Alina from Eximate Mastery here. Today we're going to be discussing room labels and how to move them. So when you sketch these tiny little closets and things, uh, subrooms that you have to label on your report in order to show, of course, in the grouping tree and then also on your estimate where those line items are located. And when you're working with these minuscule rooms, all the labels start to overrun each other. It's really messy and ugly. And then when you print your sketch at the end of the report, nobody can read anything and it's just a mess. So I'm gonna show you how you can move the labels away. Maybe use some arrows to show where the labels belong. Lots of cool things we can do with that. And uh, also I have a bonus tip about doors in this video too. So let's go take a look at how to move those room labels and make it a little bit more easy to read your sketch. So for an example, I've already sketched part of a floor plan here and ran into some trouble with my labels. So I stopped sketching and thought, man, I need to make a video about this. So as you can see, my hall closet and my linen closet have run over each other and you can't really read those labels. So if I scroll in and zoom in, of course they do become apparent, but if you're out here, you really can't see them. And I don't really work up close too often unless I'm doing something really tight and specific in a room. So it's kind of gets a little bit hard to read. We can also take a look at the printed version of the report and you can see here the dimensions are going over the linen closet there and it's a little bit hard to read and some things that we can improve for sure uh, just being able to read the sketch itself. So let's just take a look here as you can see how to move these room labels. So I do recommend zooming in when you're ready to move the room label as this is kind of tricky. It's just hard to grab this little symbol right here. So zoom in on the area where you need to move the label. Hover your mouse over that diamond right there. See that red diamond? You're going to hover your mouse over the diamond, not over the room name like you'd think. It's over the diamond. Okay, so I'm not clicking. I'm just hovering. That is step one. Hover your mouse over the red diamond. Step two, hit your space bar. Okay, so I didn't click, guys. If you click, it'll mess it up. You hover, step one. Step two, hit your space bar. Now I can left click, hold, and drag and move that label to wherever I'd like it to be. So I can move it outside the room if needed. I can uh, then use an arrow or an annotation to go ahead and show that this linen closet belongs here. You can mess around with your arrow settings too. Sometimes the line width is too large or you don't like the color, what have you. But you get the idea of how we could move these around and make it a lot easier to see and read what goes where. So again, for the hall closet, let's go ahead and move that guy. You're going to step one, hover. Don't click, guys, it'll mess you up. Just hover, hit your space bar. Step two, hit your space bar. Step three, left click, hold, and drag to wherever you want that label to reside, and voila, there you go. You've got your labels out of the way, and things are a lot easier to read. We can go over to the print here, and you'll see it also will show up on your print that way. This is also useful for roofs, so if you are sketching roofs, we can use this application in the roof level as well. If maybe you can't read the roof name there, or if you have some extensions, you know, roof extensions that are in the way and you can't, they're kind of sitting on top of each other, you can definitely use this move label tool and move things around so everything's more legible. So that is how to move the label in the room. I did mention that I'd give you a bonus on doors and it's just because these tight spaces remind me of how frustrated I get when I try to add a door to these small areas. As you can see, we're trying to left click once to set that door and it's not happening. So just a bonus tip here for small areas. Not only is the label annoying, but you can't get your door, maybe a tiny window added here. What you want to do is take that door tool and left click, hold and drag. And that'll allow you to set these little tiny doors wherever they're needed, you know, such as this tiny linen closet in this bathroom. You'll see that if you go ahead and hit your D on your keyboard, 
left click hold and drag you can make the smallest door in the world if you want to it will allow you to do it as long as you just don't click once on the wall you left click hold and drag so just a couple of pain points there about small spaces that i found the labels you can never read them and then you can never put your stupid door in the wall so there's two tips for you on how to deal with small spaces hope you enjoyed those if you like this video please press the like button below and subscribe for our weekly videos where I talk all about Xactimate. We really appreciate your likes and subscribes. For more information on Xactimate Mastery and what we do here, we train restoration contractors how to use Xactimate. Please visit www.xmatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week in your business. Hopefully your tiny spaces in your sketch will stop bothering you. And I will see you next week.